Hey folks, Nitno here. Today we're taking a look at the mod Base Building Plus, then creating your first simple base. Keep in mind, modding is currently for PC only. Base Building Plus is a common mod to find in use on major high pop modded servers. Whenever joining a server, check the list of mods they have. If you see Base Building Plus, this is the video for you. I'll be going over everything you need to know from start to finish including required tools, navigating the UI, and building a base from scratch. This video uses the chapter feature to easily skip around the video by topic. If you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. The basic workflow in Base Building Plus is farming building materials, crafting a workbench, and attaching a blueprint to that workbench. Pressing K will open the blueprint menu, which is used to craft kits. You can use those kits to make each piece of your base. We will go over each part of this process step by step. Some helpful tools we'll need along the way are axes to chop down trees for wooden logs, saws to make wood logs into planks, and either a hatchet or a hammer to craft our structure. Nails are needed for every step in the process and can be one of the major factors limiting the size of your base. On highly populated servers, nails can be quite rare. If you can't buy nails from a trader, you'll have to search for them in sheds, garages, industrial areas, train carriages, and funny enough, I've found quite a few in outhouses. First thing to know, there are three tiers of crafting recipes to build with. Tier 1 is crafting with wood and is the easiest to craft but also easiest to destroy. Tier 2 introduces sheet metal into the crafting process and provides a mid-tier base. Tier 3 includes concrete bricks and mortar mix for the highest level base you can craft and the most difficult to raid. For the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on building a tier 1 base. It is the easiest way to get started and is what I would suggest for practicing making your first base building plus base. After you've found a good place to build, you may need to use a land claim kit to start building. Not all servers require a land claim kit. Some servers turn this feature off. Essentially, a land claim kit will allow you to turn building on and off for about 30 meters around the pole. Therefore, if you turn building off, other players cannot build close to you. To get started, we will need to build a workbench and attain a blueprint. A workbench can be created with one wooden log and five wooden planks. Next, we will need a blueprint. If your server doesn't have traders, you'll need to find a blueprint in the open world. Blueprints are commonly found in industrial locations, such as sheds and warehouses. With your blueprint in hand, you can go ahead and attach the blueprint to the workbench. Pressing K will bring up the kit menu, and you're ready to start building. Every tier 1 kit we will make will cost 5 wood planks and 5 nails. Place your wood planks and nails on the workbench to get started. Let's start off with making the foundation kit. And then we'll go ahead and place that foundation. You can tilt the camera up to raise the foundation up, or tilt the camera down to keep it low to the ground. For this example, we're going to make our foundation ground level. Place the kit in your hand and hold left click to craft the foundation kit. You'll now have a blue outline of the foundation. Add one log, six planks, and 20 nails. Then equip your hammer or hatchet. You'll now have the option to build wooden foundation. Next up, let's go ahead and craft three wall kits at our workbench. When placing your walls, you will want to place the red side on the inside. 
The red side is the soft side of the wall, so make sure to place the wall correctly. Simply press the down arrow to enable snapping, and then use the scroll wheel. I recommend getting used to this process, it seems to be the easiest way to do it. But there is another method you can take by pressing B to bring up a menu where you can select snapping on, and then select lock snapping. You may have to play around with this a bit to get it right. It's not perfect, and sometimes it takes a couple tries to get the objects lined up. Snapping will certainly help this process. Each wall frame will cost 1 wooden log, 5 planks, and 16 nails. After you place your wall frames, you can either select vertical planks, horizontal planks, or logs. Let's go ahead and craft all three sides as vertical planks. The vertical planks will require 10 planks and 20 nails. Next, let's craft a floor kit at our workbench. Then with the kit in your hand, look at the wall and snap your floor kit to the bottom of the wall over the foundation. Once again, after placing the kit, we will need to add the material cost to craft the floor. Add one wooden log, 10 planks, and 20 nails. With your hammer equipped, go ahead and craft the floor. Next, let's put a door in this building. Craft a door kit at the workbench, then go ahead and place the frame. Craft the frame by attaching one wooden log, five planks, and 16 nails. Then we can go ahead and place our vertical planks by attaching 10 planks and 20 nails. Next, let's go ahead and put a door on it. This will take five planks and 10 nails. We can seal up the base by crafting a wooden roof kit at the workbench. Place your frame by snapping it to the top. Then go ahead and attach one wooden log, 10 planks, and 20 nails. We can go ahead and craft the roof, and we now have a completed base all that's left is to lock it up. You can lock up the door by attaching a code lock to it. Insert a code and make sure to keep it as random as possible. If you have trouble remembering your code, go ahead and write it down. You now have your first simple base. I'll be making more base building plus guides in the near future. I'll include a link to my base building playlist in the top right and in the description. This guide was an introduction to get you started on base building plus and understand the workflow. There are a ton of customizations with this mod and a whole lot more to learn. I'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like. As always, have fun and daisy. Take it easy. Peace.